I saw I saw a picture last week, and I know that I sent the picture around to everybody, and it was like <laughs> devil going to meet Jesus, and I said I said I have eventually succeeded in closing all church services. No church is worshiping you, and Jesus said that is a lie. I have also succeeded in opening. A church in every household. Hallelujah. Somebody put your hands together for the Lord. Jesus has succeeded in opening a church in every household. Beloved, that is the plan of the Lord. The Bible says, and the apostles were going from one house to another, doing what? Breaking bread. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a gathering they call. They call the church. When Christ, the Christ, Christian children, Christians come together, they call us Christian because they said our ways are like Christ. Mm -hmm. So when we come together, we call it a church. But remember in those days, when there was persecution, mm -hmm. they were not able to gather together. So invariably, people had to scatter. It is in this country that Philip was, to, was, was able to take the word, the gospel to Samaria. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When we are together, we feel the happiness. We feel the comfort. Nobody wants to leave the comfort zone. But beloved, you know that some nations in the world, as at, as at today, they've never experienced the garden of a church. Do you ever remember that? That, that? that some nations, they cannot worship God openly and freely. So they've been having the fellowship as all fellowship for long. Now we are complaining. Oh, I miss your face, my baby. I live miss your face, my friend. I live and miss your face, my, my, my daughter. In fact, I miss Ariana. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh my God. No, we, we tend to miss ourselves, but don't you forget that some countries have been like this for years. They've never had the opportunity to come together as a church. So I think God will let us feel that when we come back, I can't wait to come back and see my daughter Laji Mokai jumping up and see all my friends, see everybody coming together, see Brother Shola, see Pastor, I can see ourselves face to face. And I see Sister Nina, see everybody, see Adiola, see, see, see Sister, Sister Mary, see Sister Damola, hallelujah, see Sister Tolani, see Sister Josephine, and we come together and hug, see Brother Bola, and say, wow, we missed our face. Mm. But when things doesn't come like this, how do you want to enjoy the fellowship? That's why the Bible says, do not forsake the gathering of the brethren. Do not forsake the gathering of the brethren. Beloved, this morning is going to be a bit different, hallelujah. And people have been complaining that pastor on, we don't normally hear online because the, the, the medium is a bit far. We will try as much as possible to make sure that we put it in a way that we can hear our voices. Today is going to be a bit different. I have here my brother that will lead us into starting the service. Hallelujah. Let's welcome brother Shola to lead us for the next five minutes into starting, starting the service. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brethren, it is good for brethren actually to come together. Mm. We bless the name of the Lord. Mm. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Come and lead us from here. Come. Shall we begin to be in the mode of appreciation. Yes, sir. Let us begin to magnify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us begin we thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank we thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. 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 We worship. Maya Gala Boshe Ketolian de Limoso Kaya Gala La Bosha Librando Liga Se Kim de Lia de Bosha Gala La Bosha Le Paco Kaya Deva Liga Zoke de Bosha Liga La Bosha Raba 
Let us remember that the grace that the Lord has given unto us has not diminished a minute. Mm. Thank you, Lord. And let us remember as well that we are not better than those who passed on mm. last night. Mm. The psalmist says, and I slept and I woke up. Yes, Lord. Is indeed a grace. Mm. Did you wake yourself up? Mm -mm. The grace of God did. It is indeed the grace of God. For the gift of life, the provision in this season that we did not go out and the only thing that comes back is message that this person ah, is my like Jesus. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. you and my I did not God visit God. hospital God. even in this season. My God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. you did not run to anybody to go and borrow. Thank you, Lord. The psalmist says, for all your benefits shall I praise your holy name. Mm. This morning, as we have come, let us think of what the Lord has done for us individually. And let us bring the hands given before Him collectively this morning. Let us remember the Church of God. No evil report has come in into the Church of God. We did not lose just only one soul. Let us remember to give Him the praise. Even the, 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 the service is not Stop. Not that the, the, the pastor's strength yes. carried in because the grace of God that is taken in. Yes, 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 yes. Let yes. us remember to return the glory to whom the glory that deserves the glory. That we are not tired. We are not going to serve the Lord. Let us thank you. Father, we praise you. Holy Lord. We are so grateful for your church, for every soul and for our members. Yes, Lord. As we approach his throne this morning, mm. let us humble ourselves. Mm. The Bible says, No one is without sin. Yes, mm. Lord. Paraventure, we have committed one thing or the other mm. that is contrary to the glory of God. Let us humble ourselves and begin to ask for forgiveness. Yes, of Lord. Sin. That the good Lord will have mercy upon us. Amen. That the good Lord will forgive us all our iniquity. Amen. All our unrighteousness. Father, in the name of Jesus, we, we ask for your mercy. We Father, ask for forgiveness of sin. Lord, forgive our sins. In the name of Jesus. Every sin we may have committed. Eternal Lord, forgive us. 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 Lord, forgive us.
That the Spirit of God, the holiness of yes, God, will sir. come down heavily in their environment. Shall begin to pray to the Lord. Yes, Lord. We will not be thinking of something else. Mm -hmm. We will be focused. We will be focused. So individually, let yes. us begin to yes. pray. Yes. Holy Spirit, brood yes. upon me. Brood 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 upon
about yourself like never before. Amen. Because your mercies, your grace are new every morning. Yes. Let us experience you in a new dimension. Amen. May we begin to Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you show yourself, your strength for yourself in a new way. For we know your mercies are new every day. Your mercies are new every day. Father, today we have come with a new blessing, a new anointing, a new mercy. Father, show all pressure. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Brother, let us begin to commit. The vessel that the Lord has prepared for today's service. Let His mighty hand come upon Him heavily like never before. Amen. Let every spirit of self reign in His life. Amen. And begin to go and walk in Him. Amen. Walk through Him. Amen. Walk for Him this Amen. morning. Amen. And glorify yourself. Father, you yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eternal rock of ages, we commit the vessels that you will use throughout the service unto you. From beginning to the end, we ask your Lord to fill them up. A new anointing, a new auction. Father, fill them up. We ask you, Lord, every vessel that you are using. Father, we are home. Every home that we are praying. Everybody connected to the service. We ask you, Lord, that don't touch us all. We are all vessels to the Lord, Our Lord and our God touch us all. Do what you alone know with you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Put your hands together and celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, my, don't give a prophet or a pastor a microphone. Because you have to beg to take it back. Hallelujah. Amen. Put your hands together and appreciate Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody was preaching one day. And he said, whenever I take the microphone, the, mic, the time is always running faster. Mm -hmm. uh, but when, when you are not taking the microphone, somebody else is praying. You look, oh my God, what is happening? Make it easy. Make it fast. But when you are handing the microphone to pray, the time runs faster. Mm -hmm. Or to minister or to sing, the time runs faster. It shows the anointing of God upon our life. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Do you know that when you do the things that you enjoy, you don't look at time? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I've never been to an examination where they gave you, they gave you a quest and examination and saw that everything they gave you, you know it all. You look at this and when they gave you four hours, you say, uh -uh. When, did you, when did we start? You also that we just keep writing. Mm -hmm. The four hours we look at only that we look like 30 minutes. But when you go to an examination when you are not fully prepared and they gave you a question and you look at the whole thing and say, oh my God, help me here. Four hours you look at, we look like how many hours? Like, like 10 hours. So, but when you do something you enjoy and God is happy with you, you will say that the time will go faster. So today we want to do something that we enjoy doing. Amen and amen. amen. We're going to pray. We're still going to pray. Um, I have the anointing to pray today. We're going to pray very well. But before we pray, I want us to sing this song. If you have your phone, you can Google it. We want to see Jesus lifted up. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to see Jesus lifted up. A banner that flies across the land. The whole man may see the truth and know. People like people connect. We want to see Jesus lifted up. This is what makes our Father happy. He said, well, you lift me up. When you praise me, when you worship me, when you do things that everyone is happy with you, you will see the blessings will flow from different directions. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I will say it. Yes. Hallelujah. Somebody can, blow, can, can make this melodious. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We want to see Jesus in the heart of another flight across the land. The woman may say that truth and all is the way to heaven. Let's say it again. We want to see Jesus in the heart of another flight across the land. The woman may say that truth and all. It is the way to heaven. Let's say it again. We want to see Jesus lifted up. I have another fight across this land. The woman may 
today. No nothing. What is happening now is everybody is careful. The rich man are dying. The, the poor man are dying. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to see Jesus lifted high. Amen. A banner that flies across this land, across this world, that all men may see the truth and know that Jesus is the only way. Hallelujah. Amen. We will get to that in the message. He's the only way. He's not a prophet. He's the only way to heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, we want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. So when you get to the next one, step by step, you move forward. Beloved, are you moving forward here? We move forward step by step. Step by step, you are moving forward. Little by little, we are gaining ground. Amen. If you are not careful, I want to take your own ground with my own ground. Amen. Hallelujah. Little by little, we are taking ground. Every prayer is a powerful weapon. Amen. So you are not allowed to keep quiet again. And when you do that, stronghold come. Do what? Stumbling down. It's a pity most of us cannot bend down again. Why? But me, I can still bend down. So all this thing, you dramatize it. Amen. Amen. Let's take one more time before we go to prayer. We want to see Jesus lifted up. across the world. I remember see that truth. I know there is a way. We want to see Jesus lifted up. A banner that flies across this land. The whole name is Jesus. I know it is the way to heaven. We want to see. We want to see Jesus lifted up. A banner that flies across this land. The whole name is Jesus. I know. It is the way to heaven. Ah, we wanna see, we wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted. Ah, no, we wanna see, we wanna see, we wanna see Jesus lifted. Ah, step by step, we're moving forward, little by little, we're gaining ground. Every prayer. For mercy. Amen. Amen. For divine favor. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Shola. That was a powerful way to start the service. We want to ask God for divine favor. And today we will be praying from our Bible. Amen. Amen. Also, also, as we are praying, as God is speaking to you, add it to your prayer. Amen. Amen. You want to cry to God this morning. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of oh, Jesus. Oh, say it as if you have come here to for something part Father, in the Father, name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Let your divine favor locate me and my family. Begin to cry passionately to God. Let divine favor locate me and my family. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Yes. Let your divine favor locate me and my family. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me.
Just write it down. Genesis 4 verse 4. To read will take your time. Just write it down. Genesis 4 verse 4. Bible says, Abel on his part also brought of the first links of his, of his flock and of the of their fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering. What am I saying? Cain brought first fruit. Abel brought first fruit. But one received divine favor. It doesn't matter how many people are praying. I want us to cry passionately to God. Lord, let my prayer receive your divine, divine, divine hearing. Let my prayer receive your divine attention so that divine favor can locate me. It doesn't matter when people are not on the door of heaven. Let my prayer receive divine attention. God has the regard for heaven and his offering. Lord, let my prayer receive your divine attention. Let my prayer receive your divine attention. Let my prayer receive your divine attention. In Jesus' name of Christ. The Bible says, and the Lord had regard. For who? For Abel's offering. Oh my God. I want you to pray passionately. From now on, Father, have the gift for me. Oh my God. And my gift. Father, have the gift for me. And my gift. Father, have the gift for me. And my gift. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, have the gift for me. And my gift. In the name of Jesus. Oh. Yes. I Jesus says we bring to God a sacrifice of praise. praise. Hallelujah. Amen. The sacrifice is not only about money. Your sacrifice can be your dancing. Your sacrifice can be your sweeping in the house. Your sacrifice can be your evangelism. Your sacrifice can be what you know that God is happy with. Your sacrifice can be helping people on the street. Your sacrifice can be sweeping, picking the streets and cleaning your streets. Hallelujah. Amen. We bring to you a sacrifice of praise. The Bible says, and God had regard for Abel's sacrifice. Oh, I want us to pray. My coming to the house of God will not be in vain. Amen. Begin to declare to the Lord. Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. my coming to your house, my prayer will not be in vain. In the name of Jesus, I'll be God for me. 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 In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you look at Genesis 6, verse 8, write it down. Genesis 6, verse 8. There are many people on the surface of the earth. But the Bible says, and no one found favor in the eyes of God. Can you imagine? It doesn't matter how many people are here. If any matter many people are praying presently. But the Bible says, but no one found favor in the eyes of the Lord. I want us to declare to heaven this morning. The Lord, let me find favor in your eyes. Begin to pray, beloved. Father, in the name of Jesus, I cry passionately to you. Let me find favor in your eyes. Let me find favor in your eyes. In the name of Jesus, let me find favor in your eyes. In the name of Jesus, let me find favor in your eyes. Upon the surface of the earth, even at God's anger, somebody was able to find favor. In Jesus' name of prayer. Beloved, do you know that at that time God was angry with the world? Mm. So I want us to pray, even at God's anger, Amen. somebody find favor. <laughs> it shall be you, it shall be me. Amen. Oh, I say it shall be you, it shall be me. Amen. Even at God's displeasure to man, somebody find favor. Wow. I want us to declare, oh, no. Lord, no matter what is happening in the world, let myself, my family, my church, my ministry find favor. Begin to 
prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, it doesn't matter what is happening in the world. Let myself, let my children, let my family find favor. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Let us find favor. Let us find favor. It doesn't matter what is happening in the world. Lord, grant me favor. Grant me favor. Grant me favor. Let my ministry find favor. Let my work find favor. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. When we say in Jesus' name, let us say, let that amen stand once. Bam. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You know, there used to be a woman back home. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know how my wife was able to know that place when we were dating. She took me to that. That place was a corner. Mommy, where is that place called again? We went to eat one designer rice or is it a mala? Oh, okay. Can you see? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't know. The woman was in a place that nobody noticed. Hmm. Sir, people were parking cars to go and eat there. Hmm. Because she found favor. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be on the high street and don't find favor. Hmm. And you may be at the corner of your house. People are, are coming there to find favor. He hear me very well. I used to go to mountains. I, used, I know the mountain called Oriokie Erima. They call Erima Mountain. It is in the thick of the bush. How the people locate that place? So you want to know that you your location does not matter when God's blessing on your life. Who says, who says you are not handsome? Who says you are not beautiful? There used to, I said it before, there used to be a lady who were living in the same street. This lady was, 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 she, she, she was disabled. You know, I know Africa, the way they look at disabled people. Mm. Out of us all, she was wanted for to get married first. Mm. Very, God does bless her. Mm. I want to pray, I want you to pray to your father in heaven. Mm. That it doesn't matter where I am. Let your favor seek me out. It doesn't matter where I am located. Let your favor seek me out. It doesn't matter where my family is. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter where I am located. Yes. 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 Let your divine favor locate me out. Yes, locate me out. Locate me in that. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says something very profound. The blessings of God is not from the east or west. Or from the north or south. Blessings is from above. Hallelujah. Favor is from above. Whosoever God is favorable with, the world will be forced to like the person. Are you understanding it? Yes, Whosoever God has smiled on, God will be forced to like the person. The world will be forced to locate the person. The Bible says, and Esther found favor under the king. She was a slave girl. But there was a scepter. Say, whosoever I point this scepter to, Favor must speak for her. Hallelujah. Hear me. Somebody needs to make a mistake for that person to be dethroned for you to be enthroned. Favor is no mercy. Whosoever needs to go for you to be located, we go. Say amen. Amen. Whosoever needs to be removed for you to be enthroned, will be removed. Amen. When the favor of God meets no more, somebody, whatever you do becomes accepted. Beloved, I want you to cry to God this morning and say, God, in my location, Amen. let your divine favor meet me there. Amen. Begin to pray, beloved. In Jesus name, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Father, in, my in my location, let your divine favor meet me there. Let your divine favor meet me there. Let your divine favor meet me in my location. Let your divine favor meet me. Let your divine favor meet me. Let your divine favor search for In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to tell you a story of a young boy. The young boy, I knew him when he was small. And this boy, he lost to be you know, when you go to gym. This boy, when you see him when he was young, his chest is almost five times of man. 
He was a young boy. But he had been going into gym since when he was young. And one day, this boy went to a hotel and this, this the rich woman, I've, I've said this story before, people that may understand it. The rich woman, the rich man, they call him so he trains them at home. And one day, this boy went to train a rich woman in Oboroshoki. And what happened there, as this boy left that home, thieves came and they shot sporadically to the extent they shot the woman. So, under police investigation, this bell was the last person that came to that house. This bell was picked up. It is in this case that this boy's father died. This boy was picked up, put in the prison. They did not do his case. People were praying every but he spent close to 20 years in prison. And one day I met this man called Adel Williams. I took out the Williams. What can you do to help me? I know this boy. I know this boy. Carl Williams said it would be difficult for him to go and penetrate. But give me his name. When he goes to the prison, he will look out for him. 20 years and above, this boy, his life was ruined. But hear me. It doesn't matter where you are. When God says you'll be blessed, you'll be blessed. Mm. Mm. And one day, the, the civilian took over power. They were in power in Nigeria. And one day, the military took over power from the civilian. To the extent that one of the sons, a bachelor's son, was put in prison. When the military threw over, things like that, and they, they ran after after that, a butcher died, and the one that came decided to to what to to question everybody. So he took some people, put them in prison. And part of the people he put in prison was Abbasa's son. And the prison they put him to happens to be the prison this boy was. And the Abacha son just fell in love with this boy. So he was doing many things for him. And a bunch of sons, son, did everything for this boy to be released. Hmm. Hear me? What am I still saying? As this boy was released, he said, you are not staying home. He flew this boy from Nigeria, from the prison straight to abroad. Hmm. Say, go and spend some time, six months. Go and spend. The boy, the first time we had this boy in prison, the next time we were seeing you on Facebook in abroad. And life changed. Till now, this boy is in Lekki, having a massive pledge, connecting with who is who in Nigeria. What am I saying? The Bible tells us in Genesis 39, verse 29, 21. Genesis 39, verse 21. Bible says, But the Lord was with Joseph, and he extended kindness to him. Hear me very well. Genesis 39, 21. But the Lord was with Joseph, and God extended kindness to him, and gave him favor in the sight of the chief jailer. How can God still be extending kindness to somebody that is locked up? At times, your, your place of showing forth may, be, may not be where you are planning. I want us to pray. We are never a baby. Let God show favor for me. Pray, 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 pray. The Lord was with Joseph. And God extended kindness to him. I want to talk declare. Lord, extend your kindness to me. By means of extension. Extend your kindness to me. By means of extension. Extend your kindness to me. Extend your kindness to me. Masha Kayaba. Extend your kindness to me. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Extend your kindness to me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 1 Samuel 2 verse 26. 
1 Samuel 2 verse 26. It says, Now the boy Samuel was growing in stature and in favor both with the Lord and with men. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, the Lord bless you need the favor of men to make it in life. When, John, when Moses was asked to go and build the ark, build the ark of covenant, the Lord told him, I've already prepared somebody with knowledge to build it for him. Mm. You need favor with men. God will not come down. The Bible says, and someone was found, found favor with God and with men. Raise your voice up to heaven. Rise up anywhere you may be. And say from now, oh God, let me find favor with you, God and man. Let me find favor from now, oh God. Let me find favor with you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Masha Kayaba. Let me find favor with all men. Let me find favor with you and with me. In the name of Jesus. Let me find favor. With you, oh God. Let me find favor. Let me find favor. Let me find favor. Let me find favor. And with man, wherever I go, let my children find favor with you and with men. In the name of Jesus, wherever I go, let my children find favor with you and with man. In the name of Jesus, wherever I go, Father, let me find favor with you and with man. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let us find favor, In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. If you look with me in Second Kings 13. 2 Kings 13, verse 23. 2 Kings 13, verse 23. He says, But the Lord was gracious to them. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. who, who is God gracious to? The Lord was initially un, 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 unhappy, angry with the Israelites. Mm -hmm. But when they prayed to God, the Bible says, And God was gracious to them. And He had compassion for them. And he regarded them. Mm. Hey, I want you to take it. It is a three point. They call it three bullet prayer. The first one is, but the Lord was gracious to them. Beloved, what was gracious man? Gracious come out of the word grace. Yes, that when somebody grace you, hallelujah, God was gracious to them. Beloved, raise your voice to heaven and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, from now on, let me find grace before you. Be gracious to me. Be gracious to me. Be gracious to me. In the name of Jesus. Father, be gracious to me. 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 From now on, God, let me find favor with you. In Jesus' name, we pray. But be of it. He said, when God was gracious to them, God had compassion on them. What does compassion mean? Compassion is when you see somebody and you the another word for it is to empathize, to put your put yourself in that position. Maybe you see somebody struggling to carry some things. Hallelujah. Somebody struggling to carry something. Say no, I empathize with those person. And you, oh, how would this person do it? You will be forced to carry that to help that person do such a thing. God has compassion. From his heart, he had mercy. That is why a mother will not be a... Can you imagine? In my language, they used to say a proverb. They said, help me to beat my child. He doesn't get Oh, He doesn't... The mother is not... When the mother says, help me to beat my child. She only said that she's not happy with it. Because if you beat a child in the way she will know she's not happy, you would, you would see her pain. Are you getting my point? So, a mother will fight a child. And the child will go out. No, it doesn't happen to with fathers. We fathers are a bit difficult. But a mother will find a child. And the mother will say, if you let go and eat your food, I'll cook your food in the kitchen. Ah! Ah! May God bless my mother. You will sleep with hunger. I used to say, my own family, my mother is the father, my father is the mother. Hallelujah. My father will cry with you. My mother, she was so tough. So there are some mothers. We, we have compassion. I'm talking about compassion. The Bible says, and God was gracious to them. And God had compassion for them. I want us to cry to God. Say, from now on, Lord, have compassion on me. Beloved, pray from now on. Father, in the name of Jesus, have compassion on me. Have compassion on me. Have compassion on me. Have compassion on me. 
compassion of my children. Yes. Have compassion, have compassion of my children. In the name of Jesus, they will pray. Amen. And the final part of it, he says, and what? And he regarded them. Have you seen it, sir? Yes, he regarded yes, them. Yes, 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 show concern for them. Hallelujah. Amen. What is your show concern? Mm. So, oh my God. How oh, are you going to? How are you people managing? Mm. How oh, are you people? How oh, are you guys? How oh, are you guys eating? Mm. He shows concern. Mm. Another word in the Bible, look at, we saw it in, in Genesis. But say, God had the regard. regard. See, when you have regard for someone, you don't insult that person. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. I would appreciate everyone in Trek Ministries. The regard you have for me, may God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, the Bible says, and God regarded them. And it's like you honor them. It's like you esteem them. From now on, may we be part of who God will regard. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, and God regarded them. Pray to to pray. Father, show the God for me. Are you getting the show the God for me? Show the God for me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I'm sorry we have to be cutting prayer short, short because we have still got many things to do. Amen and amen. Why did God? Why was God gracious to them? Why did God have compassion on them? And why did God regard them? It does not because they were perfect. What did your Bible say? Because of the covenant he had with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And would not yet destroy them or cast them from the presence. The final prayer, I want us to pray. Father, Father whatever I do, Remember your covenant with my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob over my life in whatever I may do. Remember your covenant with my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And she remember to show compassion for me. Remember to regard me. Oh, remember to be gracious to me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my God. You are indeed a good God. We bless your name, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. In the next three minutes, we shall be singing the aim for the day. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our topic for him for the day is have you been to Jesus for your cleansing power? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in his grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For the Sabbath doing new things. Open it for me everywhere. Open it for me. Let's get to what God is about to do. Amen. Amen. Have you been to Jesus for the same power? Are you what? In the blood of the Lamb. Are you holding Lord of the 
Father, wash us in your blood. Amen. Make us ready to meet you at any time. Amen. Let our garments be spotless. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's jam our hands together and celebrate Jesus. Jam those beautiful hands together and celebrate Jesus. Jam those beautiful hands together and celebrate Jesus. God is good. All the time. All the time. God bless you. Amen. The message God has given me to minister today in the next 20 minutes to 25 minutes is operating from the knowledge of who you are. Operating from the knowledge of who you are. I know if I ask most people here with me that who are you? Many would say, I am Yemese Fatugashe. Many would say, I'm Ephraim Fatugashe. Many would define who they are by their nomen, by their names. <coughs> Many would define who they are by their work. Somebody say, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm an engineer, I'm an accountant. But is that who you are? Amen. Amen. Today we'll be rushing someone to speak about who you are. Beloved, I want us to, ex to understand this word from an example. Three people are going on the street. One is Michael. One is Stephen. <clears throat> and one is Amos. Beloved, when you call out and use the words, how many people will look back? Three people. Why? He didn't mention their names. But when you say Michael, Instantly, Michael will look back, and others may not be bothered to look back. Beloved, you need to know who you are, or you will answer who you are not. Amen. Amen. Operating from the knowledge of who you are. Many people have lost their position. You remember the prodigal son? He decided to go back. But he does not want to go back as a son again. He said, I rather go back as a slave or a word or a servant. He has lost his position. I pray that we will never lose our position. Amen. But eventually we lose it. May we find it back today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, you need to, we need to start operating from the knowledge of who we are. I keep referring to this. Brother Martins came to church one day. You know, Brother Martins does not pray long. But the short one you pray, if you listen very well, you get something out of it. He said, Pastor, most people are praying without knowledge. I said, okay, what does that mean? He said, why are people asking when we are children of God? Do you know that your children will come to your house, put a sweet on the table? They do not care who wants the sweet. I have to beg my children, please, when you meet one meat, divide the meat into three. Because they believe they are in their father's house. Amen. They believe they are in their, they believe what belongs to their father belongs to them. Hallelujah. That is why when children live with parents that are not their parents, their freedom is being curtailed. Are you getting it? But when they, when children live with their parents, they tend to be free. I 
and enjoy life. One day in my whole church, where I was the head usher, one of them, the pastor was in the office. And one of the pastors, the pa and pastor's first son, just went to the office and just sat down in the office. He had forgotten that pastor is in the church because he's his father. He just sat down in the office and people were waiting. And they don't, they don't want to discuss what they want to discuss with the father in the presence of the son. Pastor did not know they were meeting. As I was, I saw other people came to see. I said, ah, I went inside. I saw pastor's first one. And I thought, hey, Mr. Man, get out. Please come out. People are waiting to see daddy. Say, ah, and it's not my daddy. I said, fine. At home is your father. But in the church, he's our father. He's the pastor of the church. Pastor just laughed. And pastor looked and said, Pastor Ephraim is right. I said, Brother Ephraim is right. I was a brother there. So, when you operate on the position of the child, you don't ask your father to, to get anything. Either you like it or not, beloved, you will go and look for clothes. You will go out. You see some good shoes. This shoe will size Joshua. Let me buy it for him. Does it make sense? Yes, because he is your child. Mm -hmm. One day, I came here I was checking my 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 my, my shelf and I saw a Bible that we were people were brought it in the old time we were still doing the service in the house and the Bible had no name and I took the Bible to church and in our church who knows look at how many Bibles we have so much but that day one of our sisters came in I do not know she saw that Bible said somebody has forgotten our Bible here or his Bible, and she looked at it. She said, the Bible has got no name. And I looked at her and said, it shows you are my child. Because a child will know everything the parents have. Do you know that when you see your child, dress some you have, when did you, where did you, where did I, where, where, where did you get this? Because you are seen, you know most things they have. So, we need to operate from the knowledge of who we have. Who are you? I'm a child of God. Jesus claimed for God, from God, without excuses. What I'm saying is that Brother Matthew said we should start taking things from God, from the knowledge of who we are. Not from the knowledge of an outsider. There are two children that live in the home. Listen very well. There are three children, not two. Three children live in the home. One, is the biological children or inherited or what the one that you what the, you might you might go and what adopt one are the true sons and daughter of the house do you understand what i'm saying one is a slave and one is a servant and those three are scattered where the sons and daughter can reach. What, what is next to the sons and daughter? A servant cannot go there. Do you know even a servant is better than a slave? So and the three belongs to the household. Do you understand? For when you operate from the knowledge of who you are, you will claim your inheritances as a child not as a servant not as a slave hear me beloved there was a story whereby a, a rich couple had only one child and the only one child they had you may have heard this story before they decided to spoil that child so they employed a servant to be looking after that child and one day, the child, when the child was playing, he accidentally, accidentally shot a dart that killed his parents' beloved chicken. Or what do you call it? A dart hit the chicken and the chicken died. But, and the parents loved that chicken so much. So the servant saw it. 
And the servant told the child, I will report you to your parents. Out of fear of what the parents will do, the child begged the servant, please don't report me. My parents will be annoyed, they will beat me. The servant said, I will not report you on one condition. From today, there shall be a reversal of roles. I will be the son. You will be the servant. Lo and behold, when the parents are at home, the, uh, the son remains the son. The servant will do everything for the son. Everybody the servant ought to do, the servant will be packing the work, work aside. The moment the parents leave the house, the servant will pounce on the boy and say, go and wash those clothes. Go and do that. Go and do that. Go and do that. The boy will do all the work the servant expected to do. When the parents come back, the servant will become a servant. The boy remains the, the, boy remains the son. Every day, this, uh, this boy, because he was not used to it, this boy could not eat. This boy was emaciated. This boy was getting lean every day. And the parents became very concerned. They became very concerned. What is wrong? What is the problem? The boy dare not tell the parents. This is what I did. Because it became a word secret between he and the, and the servant. No problem. What is happening? When the parents come, the boy could not eat. And one day, the boy realized, realized who he was. And as the servant normally does every day, has packed a lot of clothes. Wicked servant. Packed and everything. As the parents went out, the boy decided today I'm not having it. I am a child, you are the servant. The servant told the boy, go and wash the place, go and wash the clothes, go and do that, go and wash the kitchen, go and wash the toilet, wash the bathroom. Part of the boy said, no way, I'm not doing it today. And the servant said, how dare you? I'm going to tell your father what you did. Say, tell my father. Tell my father, I'm tired of it. Today I claim my position. Immediately the father came. The boy said, before you go and tell, go and tell myself. The boy went to the parents and said, Daddy, I one day I mistakenly shot my dad on your chicken. Your dad, your dad, that chicken that you lost so much. And since that day I could not tell you because I was afraid of you. And since that day, this is what the servant has been doing to me. And the father said, the day you shot my chicken, I saw you. I was just beside the house. And I saw you when you were begging the servant. And I decided to keep quiet until you know who you are. But because you refuse to know who you are, I decided to pretend. So, beloved, many of us are operating from who we are not. And the father said, The chicken, I own it. What I own, you own. Even the servant is working for you. Since that day, and you can imagine what will happen to the servant. You can imagine what will happen to the servant. The next day, the devil part is closed and said, I'm no more living here. I am going away. If the servant was to be a slave, that is the end of it. Beloved, you need to know who you are. John the Baptist knew who he was. When they asked him, who are you? He said, I am not Christ. You get there. Because I'm, I'm still moving forward. As you know, I might ask for 10 more minutes. So don't be, don't be annoyed. I might ask. I'm always asking for it. So when you come to church, people are pastor might ask for 10 more minutes. Hallelujah. Amen. Elijah knew who he was. And the anointing he carries. That is why he declared, At my word there shall be no rain. Hallelujah. He doesn't need to go to God. But he has settled that going to God on his knees. He came out with power. Say, and except at my word, will there be any rain? And God honored it. God honored it. God told Elijah, go back and bring rain. I could do it, but I will not do it without you. Because I honor you. Don't forget, the Bible says, and God had regard for his men. When you know who you are, my father in heaven will have regard for you. 
Jesus knew he was. Therefore, he commanded, rise up and walk. I and my father, we are one. Whatever my father is doing, I am capable of doing it. And he said, we are capable of what? Of doing more. But because we don't know who we are, we are terrified of sickness. We are terrified of death. We are terrified of pain. We are terrified of all these negative news you are giving us. Hear me, I want you to reject it. Cancer is not my portion. Apocalypse is not my portion. HIV is not my portion. Reject it for them. Say it was their portion. My father is my father in the Lord. Bishop He always say, I can never be sick. And one day, a doctor said, Bishop, let me check your baby. But Bishop said, I don't need it. Bishop said, you know, but that's your please. Let me just check. They tell Bishop, Bishop's BP, it was about 150. The boy said, sir, your BP is high. He said, no, my BP is not high. Maybe your, your something is not working. Mm -hmm. Say, let me eat a good food. He called the wife, give me a good food. She had the good food. The man let go and went, went to rest. Call the, come and take the BP again. He checked the BP, the BP came down to 100. Say, Pastor, say, I told you. I can never be sick. He knows who he is by faith. A woman looking for a child for many years. He came to the church, they pray for, they came, they pray for, the, for the woman. Bishop, Bishop David Abiyo, pray for the woman. The woman became pregnant. As when the woman has a dream, she will start losing blood. The day that woman had a dream, the Lord of a sudden that, that blood started coming. The woman, the woman ran to the bishop. He said, Bishop, I'm seeing blood again. Bishop told you, huh? That means it's the blood that is not supposed to work with the child that God is taking away. The, uh, before when that woman sees blood, there is always a miscarriage. But the what is the problem? It's the blood that is not supposed to make the child good that is coming away. Lo and behold, the child is alive today. Hallelujah. I'm talking about operating for who you are. A, a woman came to Bishop Adepo, Bishop, Bishop, uh, have you? Say, Daddy, he said, I am annoyed, I'm not coming to church again. Bishop said, Why are you annoyed? Why are you not coming to church? Say, Because when I was in the hospital, nobody came to look for me. And Bishop said, Why were you in the uh, why were you in the hospital in the first place? Don't you know you are, you are not you are not permitted to be sick? Don't you know? You are not permitted to be. I stand on the exalted order of God. When they are counting people that are missing, none of us will be among. Amen. Operating from who we are. Hallelujah. No one will be missing. Not even, not even an old person. Not even. I say that. I was speaking to the woman in how did the woman about 73 or it's something. The woman that we spoke to last week that she, that, that left this thing here, that forgot this thing here. We spoke to her. My wife said, Have you called this woman? We spoke to the woman. How old is her? Is the woman? I am 85. You see, I do 85, she's not 25. Um, but she's about she's up here. 78. 78. My wife was worried. Have you called this old woman? Have you said, Why are you worried? We called the old woman. The woman was even stronger than every young person. Hmm. Say, Pastor, I'm enjoying myself. I'm jumping up. I say, what? Well, hear me. No one connected to Shiloh or Trek will be among the losses in this time. Amen. Who are you? Who am I? Moses knew he was. Before I did not know he was. He was asking God, when they send you, who should I say, send me? Say, tell them, I am who I am. I am that I am. And the moment he had that, so oh, I never knew what is I am that I am. That means whatever you call God, God is. When you call God the most powerful God, he is the most powerful God. When you call God the most efficient God, he is the most efficient God. But when you call God the lazy God, he becomes, he becomes lazy for you. When you honor the sickness more than God, God will keep quiet. When you honor your, you're not working more than God, God will keep quiet. I was looking for some, I needed something of recent. And I called somebody that was going to give me that thing. I will not tell you about what I needed. And the person was giving me a lot of excuses. 
And the way I was speaking, I was speaking as if I am the employer of that person. So don't give me that, don't, don't, give, don't, don't give me that excuse. I have a right to get this out. The man looked at me and said, okay, go and write a letter. I, instantly, I write a letter to him. The next day, the man called me, gave me what I did not qualify for. Why? Because I operated from knowing, and look, before, when I got to work, I was afraid. I said, hey, hey, I hope I've not shot myself in the leg. And the Lord told me, do you know who you are? Why don't you call, why don't you just hand the other person to me? The next day, what I do not qualify for, they paid me. Mm -hmm. Hear me. When you know who you are, God will honor you. Peter did not know who he was before. That's why they brought a child to him. He could not hear that child. But the moment Peter knew who he was, the Bible says, and Peter's shadow were working miracle. He doesn't need to touch them. They were too many to touch. But as he walked, shadows were just touching people. People were standing up. The first name Peter healed was the lame at the beautiful gate. Say, see, but good, I have not. What I have is this. I have an anointing to heal. Jump up. Since that day, say, wow, so I can do this. He, he knew from that day, say, no, I never knew I'm this, I'm, this, I'm this powerful in the Lord. You need to know who you are. We need to start operating as children, not as slaves or servants. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody came to my office and that person wanted something. The person searched and searched and searched and searched. All of a sudden, one of my daughters that normally work with me in the office, she just went to the office, picked that thing out. The person said, how did you know? I said, well, because she works with me in the office. She knows, even what I don't know, she knows about it. I'm telling you that you must operate. In the fact that you are a Christian for 20 years, doesn't know you know God. Doesn't mean you know God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. In fact, a Christian for 50 years, you may not know God. A Christian for one month may know God more than you. Mm -hmm. I said, can you imagine? When somebody, when somebody says something, and you say, wow. How did you know? Do you know that this Bible is always new every day? Mm -hmm. What you don't know, God will just open up. May you have understanding in the name of Amen. Jesus. John the Baptist knew who he was. In John 1, 19 to 34, we cannot read it. Let's read it when you get home. John 1, 19 to 34. They sent people to John. Who is John? Now this was just testimony. When the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him. He did not fail to confess. He confessed freely. They said, I am not the Messiah. I am not Christ. And they asked him, then who are you? Many people, because of the anointing they have, they say, ah, I am the exalted one. Hey, don't put yourself where God has not put you. He said, I am not the Messiah. I am not Christ. They asked, who are you? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. And they said, are you the prophet? Who is the prophet they are referring to? He already said, I am not Christ. I am not Elijah. They asked, are you the prophet? Why? Because Moses told them that out of you, God will raise a prophet that will deliver you. Are you the prophet? Finally, they asked his answer. He said, I'm not the prophet. Who were the prophet they were referring to? They were referring to Jesus unknown to them. Finally, they said, then who are you? Give us an answer to take back to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? And John replied, in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am the voice of the one calling in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. Now the first Pharisees who have been sent questioned him. Why then you baptize if you are not the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? And Eli what did he tell them? He said, I only can, I only work in my own department. My department is to baptize with water. But the one that is coming after me, he said, don't reply. He said, but amongst you, he said, he said, when you are not a Messiah, a Elijah or prophet, he said, I baptize with water, John replied. But amongst you stands one you do not know. He is the one that will come after me. This chap of those standards, I am not worthy to untie. Do you know from Malachi so the New Testament, there was over 400 years from then when God stopped prophet in Malachi. The first prophet God raised up was John the 
Baptist. And after John the Baptist, God did not waste time again. He sent his son. Do you understand? So it was the first prophet that came out after years of no prophet. You need to know who you are. He did not say, no, I am the pastor. No, I am the leader. No, I am the overseer. Many pastors call themselves names that God did not call them. They do not know when they get to heaven, God will tell them, okay, you saw yourself a reverend. When I'm still seeing you as a pastor, I'm still seeing you as a, as a teacher. Okay, I will, you know, when you call yourself, the bank, when a thief comes to your place, you know, you are the, all these African thief. And they say, where is, the, where is the bank manager? I say, I am the bank manager. You know what you have put yourself into? I are you getting my point? So you understand. Don't call yourself who you are, but understand who you are. Quickly, I go to, I just give me just five minutes as I will hang. Jesus knew who he was. Jesus also knew who he was. If you look at John 14, verse 6, John 14, verse 6, Jesus said to him, What did he say? Say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to Father except through me. That was what we said before. He is the way. Hallelujah. So that the world may know, step by step, we are moving forward, that He is the way to heaven. Jesus is the way. There is no other way. He knows who He is. Every other person that does not bow to Jesus has no place in heaven. John 14 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes up before they accept true man. If you look at John 6 53, John 6 53, Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, on hands you eat my, the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. So if you are not taking only communion, Taking Jesus' flesh and blood, I doubt if there is life in us. May God bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You need to understand who you are. Hallelujah. Amen. When you know who you are, you will know where you can operate. In Luke 10, 25 to 37, I quickly read this. Luke 10, 25 to 37. Elias stood up to put him to test. Teacher, what shall I do? They were testing Jesus. Luke 10, 25 to 30, 37. Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But he decided to justify himself, himself said, and who is my neighbor? Let's look, look, look into it from the, from the Bible. Look there. As soon finish, beloved, I know we are we need to move. Look 10, 25. Yes, to 37. Amen. Amen. The man wanted to justify himself. So he said to him, what's the need of verse 27? So he answered, you shall love your Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He now said to him, you have answered rightly. Do this and you will live. Then, but he, wanting to justify himself, said to Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Then Jesus answered and said to him, a certain man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among the thieves, who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a certain priest came down the road, and when he saw him, he passed by. He did said about all of things. And said a good Samaritan came. And took that one to the hospital. Paid for the price. And said, if you need more, I will pay. Then who is that man's neighbor? Who is that offers help? To the man beside him, he is a child of God. Beloved, have it at the back of your mind. That Jesus is the only way. He knows who he is. That is why he was commanded. He could wait the dead. He could command the name to rise up. If you look at John 10 verse 9. John 10 verse 9. Finally. He said, I am the door. Say, I am the door. Am Jesus the door. is telling. Say, he is the door. If only one enters by him, by him, he will be saved. And we go in and out and find pastors. Let me take two or two more, two more Bible verses before we go. John 1 verse 4. John 1 verse 4. It says, In Jesus was life, and the life was the light of men. We need to know who we serve. 
who is Jesus. And Ephesians 2.18 said, through Jesus, we have both access in one spirit with the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. The time is fast going. I just want to tell us finally who we are. Who do you think you are? Who can't answer me one of the questions? Who are you, beloved? You are a, yes, you are what? A child, a child of God. You are a child of God. I am a child of God. Hallelujah. You are an holy nation. Say holy nation. Hallelujah. Psalm 139, write it down 13 to 16. Says you found my inner parts. He's telling us, you need to take me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and my soul's not it. He says, my frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret. Who are you, beloved? First Corinthians 3, 16 to 17 says who we are. So First Corinthians 3, 16 to 17 says, do you not know that you are God's temple and God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroy God's temple, God will destroy. Who are you? I'm going to head with this. First Peter 2, 9. Who are you? Who are you? Sister Yemesi, who are you? Brother Shola, who are you? Pastor Ephraim. First Peter 2, 9 says who we are. Says, but we are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a people for his own possession, and we uh, proclaim the excellencies of him who called us out of darkness into his world, marvelous light. On that note, I say, may God bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, may God bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Who am I? An only nation, God's own people. Hallelujah. Amen. So, we're going to sing that song as we close and as we bring you up tithes and offering. If you have it, unto the Lord. For people that are online, if you want to give your offering, if you don't have the account of the church, want to pay your tithes, if you don't have the account of the church, you can call me later, you can text me, I will text it to you. Hallelujah. Always remember that God will not come down. We will find favor with God and man. Amen. As we sing the tongue, no one has seen that. Wrote that song. It says, I know who I am. Let's sing that song as we bring our offering to the Lord. We are a chosen generation. Woo! We call for the show his excellence. Hallelujah! All I require for the right. God has given me I know who I am We are the chosen We are the chosen generation Call for the show His excellence Yes Lord All I require for life God has given me I know who I am I know who God says I am What He says I am Yes Lord Show his excellence. 
Thank you, my brother. God bless you, sir. I can feel the anointing here. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Somebody out there, the motto of the church, run from sin. Look at that person beside you wherever you are. Look into their eyes. Tell that person, the motto of the church, run from sin. The grace to run from sin, God will give to us. I love you all with the love of Jesus. Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, yes. God bless you. God bless you. I will see you again by God's grace on Wednesday, 12 noon and Wednesday, 3 p.m. The Lord bless and lift you up. Yes, sir. And he will turn his face of favor unto us. Enjoy the best of the week. I declare you are safe in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Amen. Amen.